Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's taste test video. So it's a little bit smaller. There was only, I think, four new items this week. We're tasting three of them. I didn't include the noodles because, I mean, noodles should taste like noodles. I didn't want to cook a whole thing um, when we're not going to have it for dinner or anything like that. So, but we are adding the strawberry watermelon, or no, watermelon. We're adding the wine that I got last week that we were supposed to try that we forgot. So we are going to start with that because Brent said he wanted some wine. So let's crack it open. Okay, so this is the wine that I was talking about. I forgot exactly what flavor. So this is the Melon Mint Moscato. That sounds totally up my alley. I have my mint plant right there in the window. So I love mint. You're not like the biggest fan, but I think it's perfect for summer. Crisp and fruity Moscato with juicy watermelon and fresh mint extract. And it's only 6.8 too, so it's a relatively like low on the alcohol scale. Usually like a whole bottle will be like 12%, so. Oh, there we go. <laughs> a little much. I mean, it's a rainy, thundery day. We're staying home. We're not doing much. <laughs> okay, cheers. Oh, that's really refreshing. That's, that's good. It's very fruity though. So you have to like a fruity wine, which is our yeah. favorite. Really good. And like I said, it's a light wine. Um, let me see. It almost reminds me of... What is it? The Watermelon Love Olivia. Um, if you've had that one at Trader Joe's, um, it's a much cheaper bottle. That one's only $3.99. That one tends to give me a little bit of a headache though, so I don't think I've, I haven't bought it in a while because of that reason. So hopefully this one's better, but nice and refreshing. I'm not getting too much mint. What about you? Yeah, to be honest, I don't taste the mint at all. Yeah, I'm just getting like watermelon wine. It tastes just like the Watermelon Love Olivia one. Um, I wish it had a little bit more mint personally, but it's nice, refreshing, fruity, sweet wine. So if you like that type of thing, uh, then I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Really fresh and fruity. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Okay, so we just had some wine, so we've got to pair it with some cheese. I mean, that's just like a go-to over here. So we are trying the new cheese. This is the red chili pepper, soft ripened cheese with red really chili peppers. Oh, do you know how to say that? Fromage pave? I have no idea. You guys know I'm the worst at pronunciations, but this is the cheese. It's really soft, so know that going in, because I know soft cheese is typically not your favorite, but you're, this is like for spreading. So I, I do have some crackers that we can try, um, but let's try it like on its own first. So it does have that. It's, I don't know if you guys, if it's gonna wash it out, but it's like a light orange, and you can definitely see the pepper spread out throughout the cheese, which is good. So you're not supposed to eat that white crusty stuff? I don't know, you guys tell me. I personally, I don't know. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends. Um, I think it's optional. I don't think it's like you can't. I don't know if any of you guys are gonna tell me don't eat it. So let me know, I'm not sure exactly. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Mmm. Well, Okay. it's too hard to eat. Because <laughs> it's a soft cheese. Let me get some crackers so you can spread this on it. There we go. Yes, we got a butter knife and some crackers. These are just the everything bagel crackers. This reminds me almost of Velveeta. It's the same consistency of it Velveeta. Is. It's a spicy Velveeta, um, but which is actually cheese. I mean, Velveeta, I don't even know the ingredients in that, but it reminds me just like the block of Velveeta cheese. Yeah, it, it feels just like it. Yeah, it feels like it and almost tastes like it too, a little bit. But um, this one's good though. It has a tiny bit of spice. One of you did ask how spicy it was. It's nothing too spicy at all. I don't. I wouldn't even consider it spicy. It's just like yeah. a nice little, kind of like a salsa, like um, salsa flavored stuff, how it's not spicy, but it just gives it that extra thing. That's kind of what I feel like. I think it's really good if you like a nice spreadable cheese, the consistency of Velveeta. I think you'll like it. It tastes really good, which is good. I think it's perfect for, like I said, cheese and crackers. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm, I just tried it on the cracker. It's good. Yeah. All right, so next up is the organic dried atuf adolfo mango slices. Yeah, I have no idea. Is it dried adolfo? Is it Adolfo. so? Is it a different type of mango? Is I'm assuming I've never oh, no. heard of that type of mango before. But one of you did say that you tried it already and you really liked this. So. Organic. Tolfo mango. Yeah, so all it is is just mango. There's nothing else in the ingredients, which I love to see. So. It's unsweetened and unsulfured. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Really, whoa, that's like a really big, yeah, these are really big pieces Ooh. in here. So there's like a smaller one, I'll take that one. They stink. Do they? Smell it. Mm, when I, I mean, open that bag, yeah. I was like, man, that's stinky. It's like dried fruit though, I think that's kind of what it, it always. Mm. No thanks. Like, I like mangoes, mm -hmm. but I don't like it dried. Yeah, we personally just are not a fan of dried fruit. That's not our typical thing. But I will say, out of all the dried fruit that we've tried, I mean, they, we always try all the new items. This one is my favorite. It's really good. It's nice and sweet. It's a sweet treat that's actually good for you. I mean, it's just dried fruit, so it's not anything like that if you have a sweet treat. If you have a sweet tooth um, and you want a healthier version, this definitely, I can see curving that sweet treat. And if you like dried fruit, I don't see why you would not like this. It's really good, it has really good flavor. I might actually eat this whole bag, I might keep it. Um, I don't mind it, this is definitely the best one that I've tried. Ooh. The more I eat it, the more mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. And it reminds me of a fruit roll up. Mmm, okay, yeah. It does. It does, I can definitely see that, see? It is good. I try to tell myself it's a fruit roll up and I'm all right. Yeah, it's just because you're not used to eating this mm. type of thing, so you're first kind of like put off by it at first, but it has really good flavor. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. It's good. Scooby Doo fruit roll up. <laughs> all right, everybody, this is the last item, and we have the chicken carage. It's Japanese inspired, it's crispy, seasoned, dark chicken meat with a sweet and savory dipping sauce. Yes. Is that the dipping sauce? This is the dipping sauce. It looks almost like QP mayo. That's what how I would describe it. This is the whole bag of chicken. I cooked the whole thing. This will be our lunch right now. So this is how much it comes with. I did put it in the air fryer per the instructions and it comes with a dipping sauce. So it does say just dip the chicken in this. You're not gonna wanna like coat the chicken in it. So yeah, it looks nice and crispy. It crisps up perfectly in the air fryer. So let's give it a try. And take like a little piece right here and dip it in. It looks like cheese. It looks like mayo. Mm. It tastes like mayo too, I think. Oh, that's straight mayonnaise, bro. Yeah. I would have to look at the um, ingredients. I'm not sure what is in here, so what am I supposed to be tasting? It's but good though, I like it. It tastes like mayonnaise, personally. I like mayonnaise. It says that and it's, I'm gonna double dip. Um, it says the dipping is a sweet and savory. I don't know. I'm not really getting. Are you getting sweet or savory? Let me take another bite. Mm, not so much sweet, but it's definitely savory. Yeah. Mm. I like it. I did pick up sweet on that bite. I did I pick up a little bit of sweet, but it's nothing like when you think of sweet. It's not like that. It's just a very subtle touch of it. The sauce. What's in it? Water, canola oil, salted egg yolk, egg yolk, salt, Manis. modified food starch, rice vinegar, malt vinegar, salt, tomato concentrate, sugar, enzyme, modified egg yolk, gum, arabic, spice, yeast, garlic powder, and Nathan's gum. You okay, I mean. so I was right. This is like a mayonnaise based um, dipping. So yeah, the chicken is really good. It's really crispy. I really like it. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not really loving the sauce. It's nothing horrible, but I just would have preferred like an actual like glaze over it, like a sweet and savory like glaze. I'm not really feeling like the mayonnaise dip personally, not my favorite, um, but the chicken's really good. Oh, okay. Brent's eating it, he likes it. So if you guys are not opposed to a mayonnaise type dipping sauce, then give it a try. I mean, the chicken's really good, and if you like the dip, um, then I'm sure you'll like it, but you like it? Mm-hmm. Good. You have a lunch to eat today. I'm gonna eat my pasta salad. <laughs> I'm not starving today. <laughs> okay, so that was a short one this week, but everything was relatively good. I do not think there was any misses at all this week. Everything was good, so if it sounds like you would enjoy it, pick it up because there was definitely no misses. Do you have like a standout this week? A standout? Or a favorite? I don't have a standout. Yeah. Out of all of what we tried, I think. Mm -hmm. I like the chicken and the mayonnaise the best. The chicken and the mayonnaise? Okay, yeah. I definitely don't have a standout either, but with the two that I enjoy that I can see my, I'm gonna drink my wine and I'm gonna have some cheese and crackers. I liked both of those were my favorite and I could definitely see myself buying again. So we hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.